February, state officials gave Hull the first go-ahead needed to build four wind turbines that would be located approximately one and a half miles off Nantasket Beach. The location is planned for a shoal known as Harding Ledge, which is an important lobster in area and has therefore arisen concerns from local fishermen. According to town manager Phil Lemnios, a $1.7 million grant from the Massachusetts Technological Collaborative underwrote a study by ESS Group of Wellesley. Before any turbine construction commences, studies will be performed to determine whether the ocean floor can support the towers and how the construction may affect lobsters and other marine wildlife. Hull currently has two land-based turbines which generate enough power to meet about 12% of the town's electricity demands. The cost to build what many are already calling Hull Wind 3 is yet to be determined. I recently asked a few residents of Hull how they feel about the proposal. I'm Mary Curtis. Okay, and how do you feel about the proposal for the new windmills coming to town? I'm very much in favor. And I think that we in New England have to use every possible means to provide energy for ourselves instead of increasingly being dependent on oil. Okay, and you live right here across from Nantasket Beach? Yeah, 235 Beach. Yeah. And the wind farm will sort of be right in your bird's eye view here, right? Right. And how do you feel about it? I think it's a positive uh, step for... Uh, are, you, are you for this type of energy in general? Yes. Okay, great. What do you think of the two windmills in town right now? Thumbs up. Hi, I'm Debbie. You've lived in Hull for how long? Eight weeks. <laughs> okay, great. Have you heard about the proposed wind farm? Yeah, I have. Okay, what do you think of it? I think it's a cool idea if it doesn't uh, affect the environment in some negative way in terms of, you know, fishermen and the sea and all that stuff. I think it's great for us to be self-sustaining.